Hey there, it's Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Libraries. I can't make you tomorrow. Uh, welcome to Ohio University and hope you enjoy your week with a junior executive program. I can't make you because I'm actually in California at the ALA Annual Conference, the American Library Association. But you're in good hands with Sherry. But this video is going to show you real quick how to use Passport Gmail to do some research on your consumer finance project and consumer debt project. I hope this helps you and best luck with research. Take care. <laughs> So for the uh, junior executive uh, student's project of looking at consumer finance, understanding consumer debt, and how that plays into their project, uh, we're going to look at a couple areas here in Passport GMED, and then Sherry's going to show you a few other places to look at for articles and things like that during class. Uh, the first place we're going to look under Passport GMED is under Countries and Consumers, and we're going to click on Consumer Trends and Lifestyles. Once this page loads, uh, this gives you um, some navigation on the left-hand side. We're going to go to Consumer Lifestyles here on the left-hand side and choose United States among the list there. So we'll do USA, click Go, and this will take us to the Consumer Lifestyles uh, report for the United States. It's a pretty comprehensive report that kind of analyzes the consumer market in the United States. And the reason I want to look at this is because it's got a really nice um, you know, kind of a overview here in the, in the you know, to start as far as how consumers are react, reacting to the broader economic climate. Uh, you can see there's all kinds of stuff on eating habits, dining out, things like that. Uh, but if we go down on the left hand side, there is um, a financial habit section here, which I think would be really useful in what you're looking at for your paper. So you can see it's pretty, pretty nice, uh, uh, nice sized. Uh, area here dealing with savings, loans, mortgages, things like that, some nice data, uh, things like that. So a good place to kind of get started uh, for, uh, for, that kind of, for that kind of information. Um, and you might find other things over here on the left-hand side that would be worthwhile uh, looking at as well within there. Um, the other thing I want to show you is um, if I go back to the main Passport GMED homepage here, um, we're going to go under um, the industry section and you'll notice there's a consumer finance section so we're going to click on consumer finance there and this is basically looking at you know um, how Americans uh, or how whatever country you choose here because it's global data uh, use uh, debit cards credit cards things like that so we're going to go over under the search tree and just click on consumer finance and then click go and it's going to take us to this kind of goofy looking menu um, but I want to show you actually how to to use that menu to get the data that you that you really want. So it puts us in the consumer finance, but you see there's all these little drop down menus. So what I would do is just go in through here and then just start basically selecting things. And you'll notice over on the right hand side as we do this, we add things to our list here. So I'm just going to go down and just grab uh, quite a few of these actually. Um, We'll just do personal cards, credit card function. I mean, as we do this, it's just going to add a pretty good list over here. And I'm not exactly sure which reports we're going to get through this, so I'm going to go ahead and grab as many as I want to, um, and then we can kind of filter out with our list of results there. Um, I have no idea what prepaid function, closed loop prepaid function is, so we'll just click it and see what we get there. Uh, if we go under transactions here, uh, you can see there's total card transactions, consumer payment transactions, all this kind of uh, information that we have in here. Now some of this will just give us statistics, others will give us actual uh, full-on uh, market and industry research reports uh, that will cover um, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, the, you know, credit card, debt, uh, debit card, things like that. So we'll just grab quite a few of these. You can see I'm getting quite a laundry list uh, over there on the left hand side. Let me scroll up here and make sure I got um, everything I wanted to there. And so now you go down, um, once you do that, you get everything you want, you go down and, and you click this Now Choose Geography section. And what I should have done too, I'm going to go back here, because I happen to notice there's a consumer lending section here. And just for giggles, I want to get consumer lending, consumer credit. Um, card lending, looky there, there's some other stuff that have to do with, might be good to look at, uh, other personal lending, uh, mortgages, housing, so we'll get that stuff. And then go down now if we're going to choose geographies. And we could get all this information if we wanted to in like, you know, Germany, France, Israel, India, 
uh, because it's global. But we're just going to go to USA, and as we click USA, USA appears over there. Uh, we're going to scroll down and then click uh, Run Search there. And so what this gives us is things like uh, consumer credit in the U.S., credit card in the U.S., debit card in the U.S., things like that, consumer lending in the U.S. You can see financial cards and payments in the U.S. And typically these industry overview sections are going to be bigger than the category briefings. Uh, these are bigger reports than what these are. So we'll just go show you real quick. And financial cards and payments in the U.S. And this might be worth looking at. It's going to cover a lot about the industry. Uh, but it will talk about, you know, uh, different things as far as trends in the industry, um, maybe how Americans are relying less or or more on on industry, things like that. Um, you can see there's information about the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau, things like that. Um, so here we have key trends and developments, current impact, all that kind of good stuff, outlook for the industry, things like that. And if you keep going, you have all kinds of information you can look at here. Um, Things like that. And this is going to be more from the from the bank side than the than the consumer side, but um, there will be some information here that you could use in addressing you know um, things like here the U.S. consumer continues to be adversely effect, impacted by a contracted economic environment and employment in, environment in 2011. You know things like that. So you got unemployment data, things like that. Um, so you might have some good information that way. For the shorter reports, you can actually look at the specific ATM cards, charge cards. Uh, let's look at um, uh, credit cards. I'm not sure how uh, Passport Gema is, is defining credit cards versus charge cards, so we'd have to look at those reports there. But let's just look at credit cards in the U.S. <coughs> and so here we have, you know, basically a, a small report um, that gives you things like average value per card, uh, number of credit cards in circulation, things like that, uh, trends in credit cards, uh, things like that. Um, so this is just one report, several reports you can find in here. Uh, I would encourage you also to look on the uh, left hand side over here for more related results. Uh, you might find some things that would give you some more information for industry information on the left hand side and more results on the left hand side as well to find more information on your topic. So a good place to kind of get good general information on, on how the industry is reacting to uh, some of the consumers, and you might find some consumer information here as far as their preference for using or not using credit cards, how that's growing or shrinking, things like that. So a great place to find that information.